Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are well by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIVS Home School. This is Muhammad Imdadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Today, I am here to conduct a math class of class 4. This is our first class for annual examination. And our today's topic is short question part 1. Short question part 1. This is our today's topic. In this part, I will solve 15 short questions. Let us solve the questions. The cost of 4 erasers is taka 12. What is the cost of 9 such erasers? The cost of 4 erasers is taka 12 is given. To find the cost of 9 erasers, at first we have to find the cost of 1 eraser. To find the cost of 1 eraser, we have to divide 12 by 4. If we divide 12 by 4, this will be 3. It means the cost of 1 eraser is 3 taka. To find the cost of 9 eraser, we have to multiply this by 9. If we multiply this by 9, we will get 27. 3 nines are 27. So, required answer for the first question is taka 27. This is our required answer for the first question. Now, go to the second question. What is the second question? Marina is 12 years old. Marina is 12 years old. If her mother's age is 4 times Marina's age, how old is her mother? It means that if we multiply the age of Marina by 4, we will get the age of her mother. So, multiply 12 by 4. 12 for sir? 48. So, we can say Marina's mother's age is 48 years. Now, question 3. Add the fractions 10 by 14 and 35 by 49 equivalent. We have to say these two fractions are equivalent or not. We know a fraction, uh, equivalent fraction of a fraction we may get if we divide or multiply both the numerator and denominator by the same number. Okay? Take this fraction into lowest term at first. It will be 10 by 14 means if we cut by 2, it will be 5, uh, it will be 7. Now we can say this means 7. 5 by 7 is the value or the lowest form of 10 by 14 and 35 by 49. 35 by 49. If we take this in lowest term, we can divide by 7. This will be 5 and 7. This means this is also 5 by 7. As the lowest term of, of these two fractions are same, so we can say these two fractions are equivalent. There is another technique. You can apply that technique to show these two fractions are equivalent or not. Just you have to remember that you will multiply these two numbers. It means numerator of first fraction and denominator of second fraction and multiply these two. Means that denominator of first fraction and numerator of second fraction. In the first case, the product will be 10 multiplied by 49. The product is 490. And in the second case, the product of these two numbers is, if we multiply 14 and 35, 14 fives are 70. So, we can write 0 here, 7 left. 3 14 are 42 and 7, that is 49. So, we can say the product is same. If the product is same, in this case also we can say these two fractions are equivalent. 
so we can write the answer is yes so we can write the answer is yes these two fractions are equivalent now question 4 Prabhu bought 7 pens he gave away 4 pens to his brother Shomu what part of the pens remain with him it means that Prabhu has seven pens he gave away four pens to his brother it means that you have to subtract four from seven you will get three now our question is what part of the pens remain with him here we have to compare the remaining pens with the total so it will be a fraction that will be three by seven so our required answer for question four is three by 7 part 3 by 7 part then question 5 what are the prime factors of 195 to find the prime factors of 195 at first we have to find the factors of 195 what are the factors of 195 we can find the factors of 195 Now, as this is odd, so we can write in this way. This means we can write 3 multiply by this number is divisible by 3. So, if we divide this by 3, this will be 6, 3 or 18, 1 left 5. Then again, we can divide this by 5. So, we can write 5 multiply by 5, 3 are 15 and 4 left 9 so again we can divide this by we have to check by 7 is it divisible by 7 now 7 we have to check if we take 2 times 14 45 45 is not sorry 55 55 is not divisible by 7 so this is not divisible by 7 and this is not divisible by 9 also now we have to check by 11 if we check by 11 this is not divisible now we have to check by 13 check by 13 this will be 13 so 1, 6 left 5 13 5 sir, 65 so we can say 15 from this we can write all the factors of 195 factors of 195 are 1 3 5 13 15 39 65 and 195 it means that 1 3 5 13 15 39 65 and 195 all these are the factors of 195 among this factor we have to take only the prime factors it means from this factor we have to take the prime numbers 3 is a prime number 5 is a prime number and 13 is a prime number so the prime factors of 195 are we can say 3 5 13 3 5 and 13 3 5 and 13 now question 6 John did 9 sums 5 sums are correct what part of the sums are wrong this is similar question of 4 so we can solve this one easily at first we have to subtract 5 from 9 this will be 4 so we can say 4 by 9 is the required answer 4 by 9 is the required answer for question 6 4 by 9 this is the required part now question 7 is 143 a prime number or composite number here we have to know what is prime number and composite number prime number means 
if a number is divisible by only one and itself that number is known as prime number but this number is divisible by one eleven thirteen and one hundred forty three so it has more than two factors so this is not a prime number so we can say this is a composite number this is a composite number as it has more than two factors according to the definition of composite number this is a composite number now question 8 what is the product of 0 and any number the students you know the product of 0 and any number always will be 0 now which is greater we have to compare these two fractions so at first we have to write these two fractions in this way convert this one into improper fraction 3 tens are 30 and 1 31 by 3 and another is 20 by 3 here 31 as the denominator is same and 31 is greater than the 20 so the fraction 10 integers 1 by 3 will be greater 10 integer 1 by 3 will be greater reduced to its lowest term this is the fraction given 45 50 now to reduce the fraction into lowest term we can apply a technique we can express 45 as product of prime factors and 50 also product of prime factors now we can divide both the numerators and denominators by the same number it means that we can cut the same factors same prime factors so now product of 3 and 3 is 9 and product of 5 and 2 is 10 so we can say the lowest term of this fraction is 9 by 10. This is our required answer for question 10. Now question 11. What is the HCF of 20, 25 and 30? The students, you know, factors of 20, factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Factors of 25 are 1, 5, 25 and factors of 30 are one two three five six ten fifteen and thirty the students observe the factors of twenty twenty five and thirty here we have to find the hcf to find the hcf it means that we have to take the greatest common factor here the common factors are 1 5 1 5 1 5 among these two common factors 5 is the greatest 5 is the greatest so our required answer is 5 so we can say hcf of 20 25 and 30 is 5 so our required answer is 5 now question 12 what must be subtracted from 100 to make it 3 dozens the students you know 1 dozen means 12 items so 3 dozen will be 3 dozens will be 12 multiply by 3 it means 3 12 sir 36 now we have to make three dozen from 100 to make three dozen it means that this 36 we have to subtract from 100 if we subtract this will be 64 so our required answer is 64 our required answer for question 12 is 64 now Question 13, the product of two numbers is 96, 
वन नंबर इज सिक्स वट इज द अदर नंबर दे स्टूडेंट्स इट मीन्स दैट द प्रोडक्ट इज गिवेन एंड मल्टीप्लायर इज गिवेन वी नीड टू फाइंड द मल्टीप्लीकांड सो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकांड इक्वल टू प्रोडक्ट डिवाइड बाई मल्टीप्लायर If we divide the products means 96 by multiplier means 6, we'll get 16. So our required answer for this question is 16. Our required answer for question 13 is 16. Now question 14. How many times 800 is 8000? It means that we have to divide. 8000 by 800 if we divide 8000 by 800 we'll get 10 so our required answer for this question is 10 so our required answer for this question is 10 now question 15 this is our last question 1/5th of taka 50 plus 1/3rd of taka 60 is equal to how much so we can calculate here 1/5 of taka 50 plus 1 third of taka 60 if we calculate we can divide 50 by 5 it will be 10 we can divide 60 by 3 it will be 20 so we can say taka 10 plus taka 20 so total will be taka 30 this is our answer of last question taka 30 dear students i hope all of you have understood today's topic do this as your homework this is your first homework for annual term examination hw is very very important for this term as city marks diary marks and sba will be given based on your homework submit your homework next sunday and keep practicing at home abide by your parents stay home stay safe see you again allah hafiz